Hey, 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 all your moments is Assigned Games Act 10, and wow, just wow, we wowie, zowie, oopie, powie. I am very sorry for my kickstand at the moment. It is not responding like I usually thought. I thought using a, um, uh, mm, uh, ooh, uh, uh a freaking polymer clay thing as a stand would help, but it really seemed to be doesn't. So if this thing flops over again, I'm really sorry. But, uh, yeah. It has really been a while since I played on this game. And let me tell you. I feel like most of those memories were bad because of my decisions. So, what is this game, you may ask? Well, not really much, as people only saw popularity in it when there was constant updates of it, but Vic decided to like make a big update that will be released this February, which I will give my thoughts on it. So this is Blue Train with Friends, a Roblox a um, Roblox Thomas game that that surprisingly people would play more than the Skippy Ski games, you know, like um, Take On Soda and all that stuff. So what essentially this game is is practically think like um, trying to make the entirety of um, the Unlucky Tugs' server, no wait, Unlucky Tugs' map that everyone uses nowadays. You know, for like making Thomas content, but like, but like trying not to make it as big and grand as like the take on soda games, and then just stick to what you actually know, like from your Roblox experience, and then just apply it to here. It's basically what you get. And let me tell you, I'm all for it because I. Because as somebody who cannot play the take in, like take on Sodor games, and uh, and basically have been like a lot of issues that that have been happening on it. God, mother, good enough. Anyways, as somebody who like cannot play the Skippy Ski games because you know, it always like you know, takes a long time to load. And the fact being that, well, uh, you know, I gotta pay for most of it now. And as somebody who was new to the Skippy Ski drama, and the fact being that, well, he is canceled now. The huh? I think this is a, this is a great improvement of it, because I feel like I said this when talking to myself. Is that I'm glad that there is like more Thomas developers, like Roblox Thomas developers, making these fantastic games for us. So that way we won't rely on just playing on just one singular, you know, game. Because let's face it, during the whole Cool Bean Railway phase, there's been like a lot of people making some Thomas games, games on there. But it's not necessarily, you know, making any new games. They're just using the assets from the Cool Beans Railway just to, like, you know, plop them onto there and then call it a different game. However, due to the fact being that most people can only have access to, well, the number two models, considering the fact that, well, most of the characters that were from Cool Beans Railway 3 have not had models on on the number two ones, they have to use what they get and then just plop it on the here. And let me tell you, I played most of those games on my phone, seeing how I couldn't play the actual ones. And let me tell you, they were just very bad. That or because I got like a like a slow device and it wouldn't let me play those big games. Just like how this laptop couldn't even run a freaking, you know. Take on Sodor. Heck, even Cool Beans Railway 3 was having an issue. Well, actually, it's number 2 that was having the most issues because there was, like, too much stuff. But, anyways, now that we got, like, more Roblox Thomas developers creating more games that are more fantastic than the, than the, than Skippy Skeebs games, I'm all for it. I want this to continue. 
Because these games deserve the love and respect that they all do. Anyways, so, I bet you're wondering, wait a minute, didn't you make a review on this? Yes and no. Well, yes, I did make a review mostly on this. However, it, however, it's only approximately 20% of the review of the game itself, and the 80% was just a big apology to, like, the, to, like, everyone on the Blue Train and Friends server, because I was kicked for, like, my past behavior, which, you know... Uh, let's face it, I take full responsibility because, well, I have a tendency to do that. And it's, and I've been, and it's been, like, hard for me to at least, at least, you know, try to, like, get control of it. Because there were some recent events that happened, like, today and possibly, like, last month that I couldn't be able to get, like, a new video out and video out. And so I've been, like, taking a break off of, like, you know, most of my social media just so I can, like, rethink what happened. The same goes for YouTube. But there is a reason why I'm coming back to this game. And no, it's not just because that, you know, Opera GX finally decided to work. It's because of this. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> it's, it's everything I ever wanted. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yes. After God knows how long this game has been running from from somewhere in April in 2011 to, to now, I finally get to have Molly in my game. Granted, she is not, well, the Molly that I made for the game initially when I made, you know, um... You know, when I initially, you know, applied to be a contributor, and the only thing I contribute was the, uh, the Trevor that was in the game. But I gotta say, this looks 100% better, and I feel like I should have- Ah! Oh, this is better. And I feel like I should have left, you know, the entire model thing for, for the pros. Now, sadly, she isn't in the game right now, but rather in the, uh, in the big update that's supposed to release in February. But hey, as long as I get notified about it, I will, I will play this game 24-7 on my private server, writing her, making her do all the jobs, and making, and get, and making her get the respect that she did. Because I am a huge Molly fan. Heck, look at this! I made this in my poly in my ceramics class because I'm that dedicated to her. Like I hate the fact that she was just a one-off character and she only appeared in certain segments and I know that she was like a marketing character, but she needs more love than this. Because I grew up with Thomas in like the hit area when I was around gonna say six or seven at the time or at least one age and i've been watching the episode of her the most that makes me like her a lot and i really wish that we get more molly content like this molly deserves the love anyways enough about molly back to the game so yeah now that now that i know that you know Molly is going to be in the game. I feel relieved because I was reluctant to at least play this game again. Not only because of the glitch, but it feels like the bad memories, you know, of what happened that day have been affecting me extremely hard. And I really wish I could have done something to make it better. But now that I know that she will be legit in the game, in the new update... I don't feel, I don't feel remorseful anymore. I forgive myself 
for all the things that happened in the server. And I and I want to say thank you, Vic, for everything here. If it weren't for you, like it, if it weren't for you creating, you know, tank and play and like expanding it to the point where you want to try new things, none of this would have happened. And I would have been stuck, you know, just trying to make Molly work in 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 CPT3. So thank you for that. Also, while we're here, I might as well give my condolences to um to um my friend Tradester, Tradester here for being for for making Wilbert. This was the last of his works along with um two other developers, Elliot and Natford, before he was cut off from making any more for like, you know, <clears throat> for like being a part of this. And I like to say thank thank you for being there with me when the times were tough, when I got banned from it. And even though I may not know your specific reason, you are a good friend. And I thank you for that. And I highly recommend this game should be played by everyone who got screwed over with the entire Skippy Ski thing. Or, if you want to play a Thomas game but don't have the capacity to play the higher lungs, I recommend this game a lot. It really deserves your time and development. I will do a full depth analysis once the, the update has been made. And let's just say I might be a little bit more professional about it as time goes on. Because things are changing for, for the better. 2020 to even though that we don't know if the gosh darn viral disease is going to go away yet soon. But I do know I have hope for this game a lot. And I also do know that things on my end will be changed a lot as well. You'll see them in my Twitter. See ya.